So if we're gonna take a sample like this, and chop it into a beat like this. Then stick around, let me show you how to chop some samples in Ableton Live. What's going on guys, my name is Adil Constantine. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about samples, how I chop them up in Ableton, and uh, how I use them to basically get new ideas uh, for beats and stuff like that. I've gotten a couple questions from you guys about how I chop my samples, so here it is. Let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing I do is I drag the sample into Ableton, and you can actually slice and chop from here. Um, you know, you can just, um, do it like that and kind of move them around and all that stuff if you want to you know just chop them like that This is kind of like the old-school way me personally. I'm a huge fan of simpler in Ableton. So let's go to instruments um, Get rid of that and I'll take simpler. Um, there's also sampler which is a little bit more complex like it's got a lot more features uh, to sample things but to me I like to keep things simple and minimal and simpler is kind of like my favorite. So I'll drag simpler into here and then once I have simpler then I'll drag the sample into it and drop it in there. Now, once we're in simpler um, there are three different modes that we can use here. So with classic, you basically, it's the whole sample and you get to play it depending on the key that you hit. It will just basically transpose that sample to that key. And then next we have the, the one shot, which is basically you hit key once and, and it will play the whole sample based on that key that you hit. But my favorite is slice, which is the bread and butter of this video. So um, with this one, basically, the Ableton automatically will create these slices for you based on the transients, kind of like the big hits. And you can change the sensitivity of that by either using uh, the sensitivity um, the, uh, feature right here, or if you have an Ableton push, there's also a knob that you can use. And I like to use sensitivity as a starting point for me. That way I can cut some time on slicing these manually. So I'll use that as a starting point. And then from here, find basically a groove or a melody that kind of like fits my vibe or what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do. So in this case All right, so I figured those notes is are basically kind of going to be the uh, the heart of this melody. So playing around to see what kind of melody I can come up with and for this B it was So as you can see right here, this is starting not at a, a note that I want. And so what I can do is I can actually zoom in on this and I'll just move this guy to the part that I want to start. But then also I don't want the rest of this sample. So I'll double click here and I'll create this guy to kind of create a barrier so it stops right there. So. And that's how I kind of came up with that melody for, for um, this beat right here. Now, um, another option where you can do is, let's say you have all these slices and um, but you don't, you're not gonna use all of them. You're only gonna use a few of them. And in that case, what you can do is, especially if you're using a push or a launch pad where you have a grid that you're dealing with, um, you can actually do a right click on here and then you can select slice to drum rack. At this point, what it does is basically takes all these different slices and chops and puts them in a grid for you. And for example, like this one right here, um, I don't really need it. So what I can do, I can just uh, delete that one. And then I can move this one, let's say right here. And then the next one that I need, I don't need that one either. So delete. This one I need, I can move that over here. 
So that way you can arrange basically the positions of these samples, uh, of these chops, I should say, <clears throat> in your grid. And then at that point, it will be a lot easier for playability and for you to you know, perform the beat or play the beat um, you know, with your fingers. I use this technique mostly when I'm dealing with drum samples because sometimes the best way for me to find a good drum uh, drums is like to listen to different um, loops, different samples, let's say from Splice, and then I'll drag the one that I want. So let's say I go to Splice and then I'm just gonna say drum, and I'm looking for a drum loop. So let's say for example, this guy, let's see, what do we have here? So let's drag this guy down. We'll just throw him in here. This track, we can just call it like sample. Uh, this one definitely will be muted. I'm not gonna be using this track. And then now let me go and I'll grab a, a sampler, throw it in here. I'll drag this drum loop to it. And then I'll go to slices. As you can see, like it's so sensitive right now. Um, Ableton sliced all this stuff, but because it's a drum beat, like it's kind of the same, you know, loop kind of just repeating. So what I can do, I can just kind of narrow this down uh, to let's say here, for example. So now I know this one right here is a kick. This is kind of like a hi-hat and here's a, here's a snare. So now what I can do is I can Slice the drum rack. This one is nothing, so I can delete it. So I can rename this and call it kick, for example. This is nothing, delete. This is a hi-hat, let's say, we can call it short hi-hat. Say I'll put this one right here. This is another, kick and here is a snare so I can drag this over here command R to rename go to snare and now because those are all repeating what I can do I can just delete all of them because all I have is now the kick the snare and the short hi hat and that's what I need let's say that's what I liked about the drum and then I can just make a beat with those three chops right here. And with that being said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified future videos. All right, until next time, keep making music and keep chopping. Peace.